Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is teaching you guys how to make a thing where you have to pay a certain fee to get into the door. Alright, so, uh, set up here, I have like this little basic map thing, um, with water, walk paths, and a big building. And a guy blocking the building. So make sure you're on the events layer, of course. And you want to make a little, make a new event, preferably a person. Unless, of course, a, you make a door that has like, coin slots or something. But uh, I'm going to be using a person, and he's going to say, you oops, have to pay a fee to get in. I almost typed free. You have to pay a free to get in, because it's free, so you got to pay a free. Ding! I'm not sure if you guys heard that or not, but... Alright, uh, so choice. Pay or don't pay? Or what good? No, I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna do pay or not pay. So if you choose not to pay, then uh, he glitches out, gives you an error. Yeah. Just any kind of content you want to have here, basically. If you don't pay, if you do pay, what we're gonna do? Then, then now this is the main section of the tutorial. You want to do control variables. You want to set one of the variables here to game data. Double click that want to do what is it where is it where is it other okay it is other it, you want to do other so like gold by the way again you can either double click or you can click these little triple arrows or arrows triple dots <laughs> and uh, you're gonna set it to game data gold so that way variable one or whatever variable you selected is going to be equal to the amount of gold that your party has now we're gonna do a conditional branch we're gonna say if the variable one, which is our gold, you would change it again, you know, if you chose something else, is greater than or equal to, let's say, cost 50 gold. So if it's greater than or equal to 50, oops, you do want to set, you do want to check this where it says set handling. So if it's greater than or equal to 50, he's like, well, come on in. Happy face. And if you do not, ha this is in the else section, is if you don't have enough. So if you have less than 50 gold, he's going to say, Mang, why you try, I don't know, let's not use ghetto stuff. You don't have enough gold. Alright, so I'm going to put a little treasure chest here, but uh, let's not do that yet. Let's see, I'll show you how it looks. Uh, you know, oh, press the wrong button here. You have to pay fee to get in. Don't pay. You have to pay fee to get in. Hey, you don't have enough gold, man. All right. So now we're gonna have we're gonna create a treasure chest that will give us some gold, like gold member. I'm just gonna put it right here. I was kind of indecisive where to put it. We're just gonna have say 99 gold. <laughs> yeah, you don't have no money here. Okay. So yeah, we got like nine nine go now. That's cool. You pay fee to get in. Oh, come on in, cause now we have more than fifty gold. But we're not done yet. Now what you want to do is you want to make him where he takes away some of the gold that you just paid. So underneath the text says "Well, come on in." You will simply add change gold decrease by however much it costs to get in fifty. So let's do it. As you can see, we have 99. Oh, excuse me, 99. I have 99 gold, but a guard ain't one. I don't know. Hey, well, come on in. It takes away the gold. Now, of course, you know, after the come on in thing, you would have a teleport event to go actually inside of the building, but I do not. You don't have enough gold. See, and if you don't have enough, he won't take away anything. All right, guys. So that's pretty much how you do that. So I thank you guys ever much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys find this helpful or anything like that. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.